have no doubt that, that Benjamin Britten's pacifism is one of the most neglected parts of his career. Too. Bell's back again. Yes, I don't mind too much, although I suppose I'd mind awfully if my watch was wrong. I wouldn't worry. Will you be in the music room this Sunday? Well, I should hope so. Flood? I'll pop along. Gretorex has bought some new Beethoven string quartet records. Good old Gog, making himself useful at last. Come in. Ah, Britain. Come in, come in, sit ye down. Now, what have you been listening to lately? Beethoven, the chamber works, Brahms symphonies, especially the fourth, and Mozart, of course. Good, good. Steering clear of Stravinsky, then. Well, I did think the Firebird is. Not good. Not good for you at all. Much better avoided until you're more mature. Now, as to your little pieces, I am prepared to program something, but these are... Well, Britain, the truth is, I prefer something more effective. The point is, we can escape it. I'm not. Not what? Bourgeois. You are? I'm Jewish bourgeois. That doesn't count. It most certainly does. Anyway, let's see if we have any authentic non-bourgeois here. Britain! What does your father do? He's a dentist. Aha! Uh -huh. Petty bourgeois. Are you destined to emulate him? Ben's father was a dentist, uh, not a particularly good dentist, I think. Uh, okay, but uh, not one of the greats or anything, not a, not a Harley Street type. Um, and he went to school um, and did pretty well, but not so that you would remember that Benjamin Britten was one of the great characters that was going to be the Lord High Executioner or whatever.
Will I see you again? Of course. I'll come down from Oxford to visit. And I'll write to you. This should occupy the journey. I'm reading it in the journal as an exercise. It's called Mein Kampf. And if its author ever attained any sort of office, then God help the world. Anyway, goodbye, Britain. It's been an honour to make music with you. Well, goodbye, Betu. Good luck. And thank you. He was able to um, achieve this kind of uh, elegy and pity uh, that he felt for mankind through their um, need to fight each other and kill each other. Um, he could express that through sound. Toy soldiers. I hate it. Hate what? All of it. The marching, the guns, the uniforms. I hate it and all that it stands for. In the end, the music had to come first. Only then could the deepest feelings and fears of this extraordinary musician be manifest. Profound feelings unerringly expressed through music which started in his early boyhood. And despite his off-spoken prediction that he wouldn't be remembered, resonate now more strongly than ever. <laughs>